Good morning. So I want to talk about three things today. The first is how fashion and style has really just blown up in New York City. Um, I think people have been stuck at home for like the last year or more. So people are just happy to get dressed up, to be out and about. And the other thing I've really noticed is how willing and how um, you know, grateful actually people are to have their photos taken. I do not remember this before. I mean, I always think people are going to say no to me, but now they're like, they're posing and everyone's taking the time to do it. And that's a huge shift. And I, I really appreciate it. The biggest finding I had this uh, week was down, I went down to see the Frank Ocean um, he has a, a new, like a very, I mean, I know by the price, it's a very high-end jewelry line he's launched down in Chinatown. Um, but standing outside was this girl wearing this absolutely phenomenal denim skirt. It's, I think, number three, yeah, number three in the blog. Um, and it was hard to find out exactly who the designer was, but I think I, I think I actually did find him. And I think his name is Joshua, that's J-O-S-U-E, Hurst. And the, his company's Delicate Porcelain. It's very hard to find stuff on them online. But it was, I mean, the, the skirt I thought was fantastic. Um, so that's one thing, fashion and style really blowing up. Secondly, horses and the, like the horse business. Apparently that market is just kind of insane. I'd mentioned it in passing last week because Tractor Supply Company said that they were doing so well with horses. And then one of my friends, Mackenzie Gates, who has a horse and is deep in the horse business, uh, got in touch with me and she said, you, you know, this is indeed something that's happening. So she shared some information with me, which I'm really grateful for. And then she, besides having a horse and her partner does all this training and, um, you know, buys horses and sells horses. But um, my friend has got this new business called Mountain Mercantile, and I'm going to be writing about that also. And that's going to be number nine in the blog. And then um, what uh, Mackenzie shared with me was that um, the equestrian business just in the US, that's like tech and uh, boarding horses and so forth, is over a $7 billion business. And the other thing I think is really fascinating is how many young, youngish women, even that I know, and I live in New York City, and these are friends of mine in other parts of the country, but I have at least four friends who are deep into horses and the horse business. So that's kind of interesting, I think. And then some of them are even now, part of their business is, you know, they buy horses, they train them, they resell them. And now the newest thing is they're buying horse embryos. So I don't know, I think it's kind of cool that they're doing this kind of new thing. Uh, and then the third thing I wanna talk about is the Andrew Edlin Gallery. This is a gallery right by me. And on Tuesday, my friend Dean and I went out for a little bit of an art crawl. And uh, I've always loved this gallery. It's uh, like an outsider art. And I think Andrew actually bought the Outsider Art Fair. I'm not 100% sure of that. Well, anyway, we were so enchanted by the show that the um, curator came out and asked us if we'd be interested in maybe getting a preview of next month's show. So, of course, we did. So she took us down to the basement where they were prepping everything. And it's, um, oh, my God, the work down there uh, is just phenomenal. So the next show is going to be by this artist whose name I'm going to totally butcher. Um, she's deceased. She was born in 1896 and died in 1986. But her name is Agatha Wojciechowski, something like that. Uh, and the show is called Spirits Among Us. Now, if any of my friends have seen the Hilma of Clint show that was at the, um, it was at the Guggenheim and it was the top attended show they've ever had. It was all about sort of I mean, she's an incredible painter, the Hilma of Clint, but it's like all about her mystical practice. And Agatha Wojcikowski is a similar thing. So um, Andrew, from what I could tell, the Edlin Gallery 
it has the um, owns uh, like has the rights to the estate. So what they're going to do on September eighth, which is when the opening is, they're actually going to do <coughs> a séance using um, Agatha's furniture. Because apparently she was deep into that. So I'm hoping I'm definitely going to go to the opening. I'm hoping I'll, I can actually get to do this. So I want to thank. Um, the uh, or Aurelia Bernard Wartsman, who's the curator of the show at Andrew Edlin Gallery. I think this is, if you should really, if you're into art at all, you should have this on your radar. And that is it for today. So I hope you enjoy the blog. It was really fun putting it together. Um, and I will see you guys next week.